Hi guys, it's me, Zach Yak again, and today we're back to game development in Scratch. Today I want to talk about a very important thing in game development, collisions. I'm going to show you how to handle collisions, how to use collisions, and how to do ve some very cool things with collisions. I'll show you a few very useful tricks with collisions also. Collisions look like very simple things, but actually they're not even close to as simple as you think they are. So, first question, what is a collision? A collision is when two sprites or object touch each other. The moment we touched each other, the collision happened. If you're a little experienced with Scratch and used it for a little, then you might then you might be uh then you might have have had this before when your sprite something happens to it and it just starts shaking and it can't get out of its position it's usually it usually happens next to a wall or with another sprite this often happens because because when your sprite has a difficult shape then then it is usually very tricky to detect the collisions. And here's my first advice and trick. So it's, if your sprite has a complex shape, then the first trick is a bounding box. Right here, I created, uh, I created a small program to show you a few examples. The first example is when the mouse touches the crocodile tail. That, that's the first collision. But what if you want the collision to happen over here? And you don't and you don't want the tails hooking together to make the collision happen. I want the collision to happen right here. And here's the first trick, a bounding box. Let's duplicate our sprite. Then let's use this command. Now both sprites are in the same place. Now let's go to the costumes and make another trick. So here I made a box around my mouse. And you see the, when the collision happens now? When the crocodile tail touches the mouse's box. And of course it looks weird. And this box should not be visible. And here is the next step. Let's set ghost to 100% for this sprite. You see, this sprite is invisible, but the collision still happens. So this was my first example. Now let's move forward and see another one. Let's make our mouse smaller. Oh, and we don't need the script anymore. Right, you see right here, the crocodile is supposed to close its mouth right when the mouse gets in the crocodile's mouth. And we're going to do this right when we detect a collision. And here's the first thing. We detect a collision when one sprite touches another. 
But what if the mouse touches the crack the crocodile in this side? We're not. It's not supposed to close its mouth that then, right? But we just detected a collision, so the crocodile closed its mouth. This is not what we want. And here's another case. What if you want to detect a collision here? We want it to not not detect the collision if the mouse is touching the crocodile's mouth. We want to do it like if it's in the crocodile's mouth, but it's actually not touching it yet. So now let's go to our costumes again. Then let's duplicate this costume. And now let's make our next trick with this costume. And now let's go back to our script. Oh, by the way, we don't need this command. Right before we we put this block, which detects the collision, we want to put this command that switches our costume. And right after the collision happens, we we uh, change the costume back. And you can't see it changing costumes, right? That's because the computer does its commands very quickly, and your eyes can't see it. But what happened here is that the computer switched the costume, tried to detect the collision, and switched the costume back. And we need one more command to make it work. You see it? It, it? It's not, the mouse is not touching the crocodile yet, but it's touching the crocodile's other costume. And now it works exactly like I wanted it. The crocodile is only, only reacting and closing its mouth if the mouse gets in its mouth not actually touching it but if it gets in the mouth not not if it touches the tail or the or the stomach or the feet now and here's one more example and in this example i don't want the man to go on the house And look at this moment. He's stuck, right? This is because his body doesn't have a rectangle shape. Now, let's fix it. Now it looks better, right? Now he can't get stuck. But say that we want a road. Now we want him his body and his body and his head to 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 be able to pass the house, but not his feet, since he's walking on the road. Now, with our knowledge that we just earned, let's easily do it. Look, his feet cannot pass the house, but his body can. That's all I wanted to tell you about collisions. I hope this will help you make better make better games and programming. And if you have any other uh, advices or recipes for collision detection, then please send me comments.
Bye. See you in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button.